hi guys it's lucky here again and i welcome you guys back to this tutorial section in this video we are going to be doing a complete troubleshooting section on how to find out the reason why a laptop is displaying the led light but there is no display on the screen as you can see the same thing i have here with me when i turn on this system you can see the led light of this laptop comes on but there is no sign of life on the screen right so you might be having this kind of problem so all you need to do is just to stay true to the end of this video and you find out how to actually resolve this kind of problem now one of the methods we are going to be deploying here is that we're going to actually change the ram of the system and see if actually it's going to work out and after doing that if it doesn't work the next method is to move to discharging all the residual power in the components of the motherboard and uh, after that we're going to retry again and see if the if there is any display on the screen but if these two method doesn't work out then the next thing i'm going to do now is to try to change the display unit of the system so we're going to try to change the display ic so after changing the display ic if it doesn't still work then we look at changing the the screen so these are the possible things that might cause your system not for it to display so we're going to be checking this thing step by step and we're going to find out what is making the system not to display right so let's now dig in into the steps I'm trying to set the camera so you can get a clearer view of this. Okay, so I'm going to turn on turn off this laptop. So when I turn it off, I I quickly slide it back and then the first thing I'm going to do now is to discharge all the components of the motherboard. So let's quickly take out the battery and then we'll hold the power button for like 50 seconds. Now when you hold the power button for like 50 seconds, it's actually going to discharge all the components of the motherboard so that is what it's going to do so just tap and hold the power button for 15 seconds all right so 15 seconds is over so let's now return the, the battery and check if that works out so we'll still turn on the system and see if it works You can see what you just did now did not work now in your own case now you might try this and it happens to work right so if it doesn't work now let's move to the second stage which is changing the ram uh, stick to find out if the ram is what is causing this problem so i will turn off the laptop so we are going to change the the ram now going to change the ram all right so this system makes use of a it makes use of a ddr3 ram so we are we don't know the particular one that is bad so we are going to change remove the first one and leave the second one and try if it comes on then if it doesn't come on then we're going to remove the first one and leave the second one just we're going to interchange them and see the one that is going to work with the system so when we do this and the first one works which means that the the second one is bad and when we try the second one and the and the first one works it actually means that the the, the, the first one so we are going to interchange them and see the one that is going to work out right so let me remove this now i'm going to remove this and uh, try to power on the system On the system so as you can see the same thing happens here there is no still display on the screen so let's change the first round that is there now so I quickly turn off the system now and um, I'll try now to return the RAM that I took out so I'll remove this one and return the one that I just took out now.
All right. So as you can see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So now, what happens to this system that makes it not to display is as a result of a bad RAM. So which means that this RAM is totally bad. The RAM you are seeing, this RAM is damaged. So we don't have to use this again. So the RAM is bad. So try this if you have a similar problem with your system. So all you have to do is just to, if your system is making use of uh, two types of RAM, so all you need to do is just to change the first one and see if the system comes on. If it doesn't come on, then you try changing the second one. Then if it doesn't come on, then the next thing I'm going to do now is to try to change the screen. So which means if you change the screen, you try to see if it comes on. But if it doesn't come on, the next thing I'm going to do now is to work on the uh, display units by changing one of the, the IC that is responsible for display on the system. So that is it for this tutorial guys. If you find this video helpful, what you are going to do is to click on the notification bell on so that you get notified each time that we release a new content. And if today is your first time of coming across our YouTube channel, I will like you to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get updates on any of our videos that we drop here on YouTube. Here we post video every week precisely on Friday. All right, so that brings us to the end of this tutorial. So see you in the next video. Bye for now.